O oh, great spirit, whose voice I hear in the wind, whose breath gives life to the world, hear me. I need your strength and wisdom. Let me walk in beauty and make my eyes ever behold the red and purple sunset. Make my hands respect the things that you have made and my ears sharp to hear your voice. My name is Susan Thompson. I am a art quilter and also I work in mixed media, mostly art quilts though. I am very much encouraged by my African heritage and the struggles of my people to be free in an unjust society. Many of my artworks are dedicated to the ancestors and my ancestors go back to the beginning of humankind. I'm an extension of them. Uh, many of my artworks are dedicated to the ancestors. They have titles like Call of the Ancestors or Creative Spirit of the Ancestors or something uh, still life with ancestor figure. A lot of them are just kind of have that ancestor thing about them. That's because I love the ancestors and I like having them near me. So um, one of the things I do do in my artwork that I try to connect with the ancestors is I put prayers. Prayers are embedded in the quilt for all of humanity. One of my favorite prayers is the Great Spirit Prayer. It's a Native American prayer. Sometimes it's a Lord's Prayer. I have a Muslim prayer. I like prayers a lot. So um, they get embedded in the quilts. As you probably already know, a quilt has a top and it has this middle layer, this cotton layer, and it has a back. And when you sew all of these layers together, it's called quilting. So in between the layers, the prayer is stitched into the quilt. So no one really sees it or even knows it's there unless I tell you, but it's there. I won't say every single one of them, but in most of them, they have prayers for peace, harmony, for mankind, and love of the ancestors. And that's, I think, it's because of my grandmother, who I was very close to, who I saw doing her work in our home. She lived with us. She took care of us kids while my parents worked. So I saw her with her church ladies or friends doing quilting and embroidery and uh, kind of textile handwork. And I was always fascinated by seeing these ladies and these little pieces of fabric and sewing them together. What made it really fascinating were these pieces of fabric were our old cut up clothes the clothes that no longer fit or whatever we had outgrown or outworn became quilts. So I would look at parts of my dress all cut up, my Sunday dress all cut up. And um, seeing what she did with these and knowing the history behind these little pieces of fabric was just kind of fascinating for me. So when my grandmother died and went to the land of the ancestors, that's when I kind of thought about it. When I was younger and she wanted to get me involved in the quilting, I just couldn't see myself doing it because it was just a lot of little pieces to be put together. I just couldn't see myself doing that. But, you know, when I became an artist later on in life, that's what I started doing, putting pieces of fabric together. And I just wish you could see me now in what I'm doing. I would like to share one of my favorite prayers with you, uh, the Great Spirit Prayer. It's a Native American prayer. And it goes like this. Make me wise so that I may understand the things that you have taught my people. Help me to remain calm and strong in the face of all that comes towards me. 
Let me learn the lessons you have hidden in every leaf and rock. Help me to seek pure thoughts and act with the intention of helping others. Help me find compassion without empathy overwhelming me. I seek strength not to be greater than my brother, but to fight my greatest enemy, myself. Make me always ready to come to you with clean hands and straight eyes. So when life fades as the fading sunset, my spirit may come to you without shame. 